What's up guys, Iovo here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make Chrome run faster on your computer. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and click on the top right where there's three lines, click on that and then go to settings, or you can go on Chrome colon slash slash settings and you'll be redirected to the settings page. On the settings page, you want to scroll down and click on show advanced settings and then here, Underneath the privacy tab, you want to uncheck everything except for predict network actions to improve page load performance, as well as enable phishing and malware protection. Everything else can be unchecked. Now, the second thing we can do is go ahead and on the side of the settings page, you're going to see extensions. Click on that, or you can go on Chrome colon slash slash extensions. And you want to disable and delete any extensions you don't use that may be slowing down your browser. So for example, I don't use this app called Out offline game, so I'm going to just delete it. You want to just go through and delete anything that could be running in the background while you're using Google Chrome. Now after that, you want to go on to fastestfox.com. And once you're on the page, you want to click on download. And we're going to be downloading an extension which is going to help Google Chrome launch faster. So here you're going to see download fastest Fox. Just click on it and I'm going to click continue. And once it's downloaded, you want to go back into the extensions page, which is Chrome colon slash slash extensions so I'm going to be there and then you just want to drag the file that you downloaded onto the extensions to install it so I'm just going to add it to my browser and as you can see it's confirming that it has been installed and now Google Chrome should launch and run a lot faster so if I close it up and start it back up as you can see it's running a lot faster and everything's just loading up because it skips the startup process of, uh, of identifying everything that Google Chrome usually would. So it's all safe, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo, and I'm signing out.